Good morning to you, beloved, and welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. Mark 16, 15 says that we are to take the gospel to the world. He says this very simply, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In other words, we could say it in this way, every creature needs a preacher. Every one of us who are saved by the grace of God are to consider ourselves preachers or proclaimers of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is the gospel? The death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ for our sin. He is the propitiation for our sin and not for ours only, but for the sin of the whole world. But how many of us take this responsibility seriously? Most of us relegate this verse simply to the church as a conglomerate whole. But what is the church? The church is made up of individuals. Therefore, each individual is to make this verse very personal in our own heart, and we are to endeavor to take the gospel to the world. I know that you cannot reach the world with your own body in every place, but you can reach the world through missions and you can reach your local individual area by a personal witness. In other words, it is still our responsibility. But how many of us say, well, it's always gotten done somebody's going to do it, it will be done, I don't necessarily have to get involved. I give you the story of Kitty Giavese, Genovese. Kitty Genovese was murdered brutally in 1964 by Winston Mosley. Winston Mosley had followed her home from work and at the three o'clock hour as she made her way to her apartment door, um, Mosley uh, accosted her, stabbed her twice in the back. One man shouted at him and he ran away only to return 10 minutes later and brutally attack her for nearly 45 minutes, raping her and robbing her and stabbing her repeatedly until she died of asphyxiation from blood in her lungs, her lungs being stabbed and punctured by the big knife that he was carrying. Now, what is interesting and what brought the ire of the whole world in regard to Miss Kitty's murder was the fact that no one, not one person, called for a 911 call. There was no 911 then, but they called. They didn't call for any emergency help whatsoever. Every person there considered it the responsibility of everybody else to do so. In 1977, there was a book written by a couple of psychologists. One was named uh, Draley, the other one was uh, 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 Latan, I think was his name, the pronunciation of his name, or Latane. And, and these two men did uh, a, an expose about how people feel responsibility to, um, to disaster. And Lawrence Reitzman, in his book, Psychology in the 70s, uh, did, a, did a piece on their study. In their study, they found that if there is only one person who is witnessing an atrocity, there is an 85% chance that they will report it. If there are two people who are witnessing an atrocity, the percentage of it being reported goes from 85% down to 62%. If there are five people that witness an atrocity, it goes from 85% for one, 62% for two, down to 31% if five people are witnessing an atrocity. And the percentage goes on down from there to the place where hardly anyone will report an atrocity. Now, why do I give you all of this? There are so many of us Christians and, and churches on every corner that we do not feel a sense of getting personally involved in the atrocity of men and women, boys and girls, dying and going to hell. When will you become involved in getting the gospel out? 911 is your responsibility. Think about these things today, my friend, and have yourself a great cup of coffee. I'm not doing that this morning. This is hotel coffee. It's not great. But have yourself a grand day.